everybody. So I'm here with my friend Jack, and uh, we're going to break him open, and uh, in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about him. Jackfruit is the largest tree fruit in the world. It's in the same family as figs and mulberries, and comes from India, um, originated in India. Uh, it's, it's all around the world now in tropical areas. It likes the lowlands, low elevation. There are three different types. There's hard jackfruit, soft jackfruit, and uh, in Brazil there's a jackfruit called jaca manteiga, which is in between the hard and the soft. What we have here is the soft jackfruit. Uh, and let's, let's bust it open. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, quite a small jack, jackfruit compared to how large they can be. Um, they can easily be twice this size. There's a seed. They are also edible, actually. You can boil them, you can roast them, and eat them like a, a roasted nut. Or if you boil them, they're actually they're the same consistency as a potato. It's very starchy. And there we have it. Beautiful fruit. As you can see, a lot of latex. Um, you can tell it's a bit unripe because of all the latex. When it ripens up fully, there is no latex. And uh, it does help to put some oil on your knife so the latex doesn't stick. Um, this is the soft jackfruit variety, as you can see. It's very soft, um, kind of, not to disgust you, but it's similar to chewed bubble, bubble gum, I'd say. It's very soft. And uh, speaking of bubblegum, juicy fruit bubblegum is actually flavored after jackfruit. Mm, this is really good. It's ripe. Could be possibly a little bit more ripe, but it's, it's really good. So the hard jackfruit varieties um, are more of a, a mushroom consistency. The texture is much more fibrous and a bit more starchy but they're all very sweet. Um, about 100 grams of jaca will give you about 100 calories, so it's very calorie dense. Very high in vitamin C, vitamin B6. So in Asia, they will pick it very unripe and cook the whole fruit, and it has a pulled pork consistency. A lot of vegans are getting wise to this and using jackfruit as a meat substitute, a whole food meat substitute. And uh, I've had it before, it was really good. In Asia, they use it in curries and um, rice dishes. As you can see, this bee is stuck in the uh, latex. That's not a good thing. Let's see if we can rescue it. You might have noticed that that bee um, got stuck in the jackfruit and its legs were stuck together. We, were man we managed to get it them unstuck, but it kept sticking them together. Eventually it flew off, and it, luckily it didn't have any on its wings, but that this latex stuff will ruin your day, especially if you get it in your hair or something. You basically just gotta cut your hair because there's no way of getting it out. Even on your hands, it's gonna take forever to clean off, and on your knife, like I said. So oil up your knife, put some gloves on your hands, keep it far away from your hair or clothing because it will ruin both of those things. Otherwise, it is a very enjoyable fruit. So this soft jackfruit is quite easy to take out. Um, the other jackfruit is a bit more difficult to harvest from the fruit. This stuff you can just kind of shove your hand in there and take it out by the handful. Um, as far as the flavor, I would say the flavor is somewhere between a banana and a mango. Um, some people will describe it by saying it's like a durian without all of the oniony flavor. Just if you took the floral fruity notes of the durian, it would be sort of like a jackfruit. Um, I see what they mean, but I think a banana, mango, pineapple probably does a better job of describing it. So uh, here in Brazil, it's called jaca, which actually comes from the Indian name shaka. And uh, from Jaca came jackfruit. If you get one of these things, I highly recommend trying it. Um, 
plant it, if you get the seeds, it's got tons of seeds. It's really, really um, hardy. It has a lot of uses. The wood is used in drums and boats and houses and instruments of all sorts. And uh, yeah, it's just a giant fruit that could feed the world. And pretty quickly, it grows fast and it's delicious and nutritious and has a million uses so if you go to somewhere tropical southeast asia or south america and it's it's becoming more more and more popular in western developed nations um just in supermarkets and stuff like that but to get the really good stuff you kind of got to go to go to the source so all right here's all the fruit we got from that jackfruit pretty amazing amount of fruit especially considering that whole thing cost us about two dollars here in brazil i've never seen a better price than that um pretty amazing only thing is, is i've literally been spending about the last 30 minutes cleaning up the latex from my hands this table from the knife and everything else that the jackfruit touched i'm gonna swat away see that the bees get stuck I'm gonna get him away just for his own good. Um, yeah, so jackfruit's really good if you have nothing to do all day long and you can't think of anything to do and you're desperately looking for something to do, get a bunch of latex on your hands. It's gonna take all day. <laughs> or don't, wear some gloves, um, put down some plastic, keep the bees away if you love them, don't wanna ruin their lives. Yeah, um, thanks for watching, much love, peace.